Interwebs! <clears throat> Welcome back! Moral Gamer here, and I feel utterly like crap, but we're gonna try and play some WWF the arcade game tonight. Moral Gamer, MoralGamer.com. Like, subscribe, comment, share, gameplay channel, review channel, links below for all you on YouTube and for all you on Twitch. Hey, thanks for joining us. Comment along. If you like what you see, always go out and buy the game. So, given that's the 4th of July, I wonder, by the way. Okay. No, 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 go, no, go, go, kick it. Okay, no, no, okay. How do we get out of this? Oh, there we go. So, 4th of July, we're going to play as Lex Luger, the All-American. Now, I scissor... The Heartbreak Kid versus the All-American, formerly known as the Total Package, by the way. This is when wrestling was wrestling. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go! Gotcha! Quick reversal! Snap! 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 Oh! I honestly don't know the moves. He reversed it. Snap. Oh, snap. Pin him, pin him, pin him, pin him. Get the tie up. Get, the, get it off the rope. Come on, motorcycle accident. Oh, snap, snap. Oh. Come on, get up, 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 get up. No. Ugh. Play it. Play it. Hey, he's gonna play them. Oh. Okay, so they are playing Sexy Boy, apparently. So, let me actually do the cheater thing and look up some moves for Mr. Lex Luger. Because, honestly, I have no clue. I have no clue how to play as any of these characters. Since, uh, since the 90s, uh, last time I owned this game. Moves, list, WWF. Moves, list. Doink. Undertaker, Sean. Come down. Take the chain. Snap, snap. Come on, torture rack, torture rack. Get up, 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 get up. No! I want to give him torture rack. Oh, 
Snap, snap. No! Oh! Where's the priority on that, McMahon? He's down, he's down, he's down. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Second win. No! And he's down again. Uh. Okay, so let's try it again. There aren't very many moves in this game. Smack! What's this? Oh, oh. No! He's down. Come on. Come on. Hit him. Hit, hit him. Ooh, missed the grapple. Nice priority. Hit him with the mic. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Yeah! Second fall, we're to Lex Luger. Get him out! Get him out! Come on. Oh, ah! What's that? Yeah! Come on, come on. Oh, ooh, hey. You think you got it? And pin him. No second win for you, buddy. That torture rack, by the way, is the most lethal move in WWF history. Number 19 on the list. You gotta watch the lethal moves thing on, like, Netflix or something. It's just ridiculous. Each move is more lethal than the next. Oh, what does he think he is? Oh, 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 sweep him, sweep him. Yep. Yep. Gundam X2. This game, it's freaking old, but it's... Oh! Bigelow gets me out. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, you are not leading me to the top rope. You do your thing. All right, come on, come on. No! Oh! Yeah, this game was a lot of fun back in the day. Uh, the slim roster actually hurt it a little bit, but, I mean, it's still, for what it was, it was bringing WWF to what we have now. Not the old button mashers of the Super Nintendo days. Where, but, where Super Nintendo days, it was like, it was like you'd have to be the, you'd have to be the guy who's in, oh, 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 come on, get, oh, reversal. You, in Super Nintendo days, you'd have to be the guy who's quickest to, uh, quickest to, um, whatchamacallit, uh, to, uh, basically mash your buttons, and we burnt through a ton of controllers until we got turbo controllers. No! Whoa! What a reversal! Come on! No! No! Get up, 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 get up! Yeah! Stuff it! Oh! What happened? I missed it! Ugh. But the matches on this, as you can tell, are super quick. I think I'm going through these matches in something like... I think I'm going through these uh, matches in something like a couple... 30 seconds total or something? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Arcade? When you get people who know what they're doing, this game is absolutely nuts. Me? I don't like WWF games, mostly. Every experience I've had with them... Oh, hey! Where's the priority there? Uh, 
Um, yeah, I don't like WWF games. I have had, I actually have played them online and stuff like that. And uh, WWF games just don't seem to be. <laughs> after after Raw, they don't seem to be that. Uh, not Raw. Um, is it Raw? No, Attitude. That was the last one I played that I enjoyed. And uh, they just don't seem to be as good anymore. Hey, what happened to that three second hole? Oh, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, it was a second fall. Alright. No, what? What? Get him, get him, get him, get him, kick him, kick him. Keep him down, keep him down, keep him down. Yeah. For you, it was the only wrestling game considered fun because it was exaggerated and fast-paced. Man, Gundam, that I agree with completely. I, I honestly wish they would do this again because this was insane. This was fun. The, the other wrestling games, the pacing is great if that's what you're looking for, but this was like... Just freaking outlandish. No. What? Hammer? That's not legal. Oh, oh come on. Get it down, get him down. Oh, yeah! Oh. Torture rack, torture rack. Ugh. No! Oh, stupid shocker. Ah. Oh. The cheapest character in this game is actually the Undertaker, though, because he's the only one with projectiles. I feel like I feel like I'm having issues pulling off the moves here. Oh, there you go. Out of the ring, buddy. Oh, how's he pull it off? Get up, get up, get up. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Torture rack, torture rack, torture rack. No! Right in the ring with the immediate shocker. Headbanging, doink the clown. He's part of the reason... This guy is part of the reason Stephen King's It is even more freaky. Lex Luger versus Doink the Clown. Oh, what's that? Yeah, down you go, buddy. Boot to the face. Oh, what? Oh. Oh, that's what you want. Yeah. I'm finding, actually, that defense is um, super important in this game. And defense is like... There's timing to all your defense moves, but... You gotta make sure that everything is just ultimate timing and it's just, just freaky. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him! What was that? Nine hit combo? Where did I pull that from? Where on earth did I pull that nine hit combo from? That was totally accident. Versus The Undertaker. Now, I, I gotta ask you guys something. Is it just me, or are you only getting... Are you only getting sound out of one ear? No! Whoa! Pile driver! Oh, 
Take that to the face. Hit him. Hit him. Stop him. Yeah. This is, by the way, a throwback Thursday. And I want to welcome you, by the way. Um, there's some really awesome games at Time for God. And the thing is, is some games age well, some games don't. This is one that actually I think aged fairly well. I mean, it still feels fast. It doesn't feel broken like many other games that I've played uh, from history past. Gotta have fun with this stuff, man. Although... The craze, the arcade craze in the 90s, where it was all about doing um, doing arcades, getting people together, tons of tons of fighting games. I don't think we'll see that again. I, I'm, I'm sad for me, but I don't think we'll see that again. Oh! Get up, get up, get up, get up. No, how, how do we get out? Get out of the ring. Get, get, get out of the ring. <sighs> See, this is the part that sucks about this game is that the computer can do... This is on the default skill level. And the computer's just, like, totally... You have to incapacitate one before you can get the other. Oh, sharpshooter! See, oh, oh, oh! With the bad guy, nobody messes with the bad guy. Come on! Oh, quick reversal! No, he reversed me. Get up! 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 No! Yeah, you know what, Gundams? You do need to know the moves in this game, otherwise you do fail a lot. One thing you thought about odd was the lack of characters. Hogan the Ultimate Warrior. Um, I thought I thought Hogan and the Ultimate Warrior at this point were actually over in WCW at this time. Cause this was what, ninety five? And Hogan did a Hogan did a little stint in uh, WCW, and so during that time it was like During that time in WCW, it was like, all right, he wasn't he wasn't with the WWF, um, and I think The Rock became became a major player later. Get up, get up, Luger, get up! Back off the top rope. So I actually, I used to like WWF in the 80s, and um, in the 90s I didn't follow it as much. Most of my friends did. That's how I know about the butt crack kid Shawn Michaels thing in the ladder, um, where uh, where Bret Hart pulled out, um, pulled down his uh, what you call it, pants, in a ladder match. And And down I go. All right. See, yeah, and I don't follow w WCW at all. I just know, I just know that like most of the characters now, most of the characters now uh, are not good role models for kids, and that's kind of the thing is that it's all entertainment now, and well, it never really was wrestling. Even McMahon owned up to that. Even McMahon owned up to the fact that it's not wrestling. It's, um... <clears throat> oh! I got my second wind. 
And what McMahon did was he didn't directly say this is not uh, wrestling. What he did was is when it came time to renew their sports license after the uh, Hacksaw Dugan um, Iron Sheik issue where they both were drunk and driving around and got pulled over by a cop together, um, the thing with that was is that is that people were saying, oh, well, wrestling is fake. These guys don't like each other. And so it's like, all right. And so um, at that point, he said, just just bill us as a uh, bill us as a um, as an entertainment license. Don't bill us as a sporting event. Get your guard up. Get your, get your guard up. Get your guard up. Get your guard up. And it's not that I follow this stuff. It's just I find WWF um, stuff on Netflix, and I, I love to watch it. The history of WWF is so laden with uh, so many, so many people that McMahon has screwed over. He is like evil incarnate when you look at what. And I'm not talking, I'm not talking actually consider it from a standpoint of um, how do you get out of the ring? Don't consider it actually from a standpoint of um, of like drama and stuff like that. But actually look at what, actually look at the business deals that he's done. The business deals that he's done, he's he's screwed a number of people over over time. And that's just, it's like, dude, do not get McMahon pissed at you. He just, and don't get in his sights. Play along, play along, like Bret Hart. Bret Hart was not supposed to lose in Calvary. You know, and and I kind of went over this in a previous stream uh, with this game. I'm pretty sure. But Bret Hart wasn't supposed to lose in Calvary. He was actually supposed to, um, he was actually supposed to win. He said he'd give up the belt somewhere else. And, uh, McMahon screwed him over. And so that's kind of the issue there. Aw, oh, crap. And then McMahon blackballed him from wrestling again. So you had the heart, you had the heart stable, which is, like, British Bulldog. Um, a lot of people came out of the hearts. Which is kind of funny. And uh, Iron Sheik is actually another one which is kind of interesting. Um, Iron Sheik trained a lot of guys. He was... He, everyone had the same thing to say to him about him, that he was a hard worker. He demanded a lot of people. And it was basically, if you were training with the Iron Sheik, it was, it was like training with Bruce Lee. You'd be all-time training, training, training. You know, and he was Iranian. And he just, he played it up, but... The thing I respect most about the um, WWF, uh, the interviewer that actually took care of it, that actually did the Sheik um, interview, he actually took the Sheik and uh, he found out that he had an issue with, with cocaine. And so he stopped filming the uh, biography for three years to help the Sheik sober up, help him recover from his drug addiction. And so when you got people that are doing that, that I have high respect for, very high respect for. You know, it's not just it's not just about the interview. It's not just you got to recognize that you know you got a person here, and they let you in their life. Just you know, you're gonna make some money off the interview, of course. But you know, the person in there has to has to live with the outcome of everything that happened uh, as a result of the interview. And so, when you have someone that cares enough to actually rehabilitate a fallen sports figure, that is amazing. That is amazing. You know, I, I have high respect for those guys. Oh, snap. These double teams are just... These double teams are just bunk, dude. Take the elbow. See, I can handle one-on-one -on -one because there's like certain certain things the computer will do over and over. But but when it comes to yeah, when it comes to double team, it's like geez. Yep. Don't. 
Throw him out. Ugh. Come on. What? That was not 10 seconds. Run, dude. Get him out, get him out. Don't go after him, go after a different guy. Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. And no, they didn't give it to me. Arrgh. One thing that really sucks about this game is, for those of you who like to watch game over screens, I can't give you a game over screen. There's no real, you lost, game over. There's no real game over screen in this, which really sucks. Oh, the health was going down. Okay, I thought it was, I thought it was ring out like, uh... Thought it was ring out like uh, most uh, WWF titles. Throw him out. Oh, Razor Moan. Quick reversal. Come on, do it. Top rope. There we go. See, and then there was a... I, I, I might be wrong on this, but I, I thought I remembered a version of this being four players at some point. It's either that or it's, it's a two... Or it's two players... Of, ooh! Uh, two players versus the computer in, like, competition mode. Top rope! Take it! And of course, you got Jerry the King Lawler announcing Yokozuna and Lex Luger versus Lex Luger. So here we go. You get someone who's a little bit darker, right? Oh, no. He's got pink boots. Oh, oh. Snap. Dang. Blow the whistle, man. Oh, dude, I hope you didn't have beans last night. And the other thing is, is the targeting in this. Because I'm trying... I gotta keep them on one side so I can actually... Uh... Get them out. Got to keep them on one side because the targeting absolutely sucks on this. If a guy gets behind you, you're kind of screwed. All right. It's got to be the last match. As soon as I lose, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose, um, got to call her, guys. But, hey. I'm gonna give her my all. Get this. No. Nacho Turkey Nick. Yep, punch. Punch him. Punch your friend. Punch your friend. Come on, come on, come on. Get up, get up, get up, Lex. Get up. Get him down, get him down. Yeah! 
No, no, don't, don't grapple, don't grapple. Okay, which one am I? Okay, I'm up. No, oh, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, flying butt tweezers. And the butt bomb. Ah. I'm sure there's a Mike Myers character named after you, Yokozuna. Whoa. Get him down, get him down. the end of the game where you have to fight through all the wrestlers. Which is such a cop-out. I would have loved to fight. I would have loved to have fought um, just like Jerry the King Lawler. Fight Lawler. Put someone in there that's actually a boss character. Don't just trip out on it. But here's why I blow the whistle, because it's one on three. Get you out of the ring. Ooh, quick turn. Get him out, get him out, get him out. Snap, snap, snap. Get you out. No, oh, no, oh, one down. Oh. I'm still up. How am I still up? And I'm down. Undertaker with some uh, really cheap, um, really cheap projectiles. Out of the ring, bam bam. Get, get up, get. Reverse it, reverse it. And down I go. And they couldn't decide who they wanted to pin me. <laughs> so, like I said, here's what a game over screen looks like. Ready for it? By the way, Mole Gamer, MoleGamer.com. Like, subscribe, comment, share, gameplay channel, review channel, links below on YouTube, Twitch. Hey, thanks for joining us. And we will catch you next time. That's their game over screen. How lame is that? Challenger needed. I'm done, guys. Thanks for watching.